This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Okay guys, well we're in uh, Photoshop, I opened up our snapshot and uh, before we do anything else I'm going to do two things. I'm going to double click on this guy and we're going to open that up so that lock is gone. And I'm going to hit Control i to invert that so I have black on white instead of white on black so I can see it a bit better. Okay. Now I know that this one, this one and this one, these three are the plastic button on top. This is the top of my can, the bottom of my can and the label. All right. Okay, so what is really important here is especially when you're creating something like spray cans or crayons or markers or whatnot, you don't want to go out and create, you know, 20 different texture files. So what I'm going to show you here is how you can use one uh, PSD texture file to apply to different colors of spray cans, right? So for example, I want to start with a layer to create a red button for uh, the red spray can. So I'm going to adjust these three and these two are basically going to be the same and this one as well. All right. So what we're going to do here is we are going to, uh, let's see, we'll create a label first. So I'm going to make sure that I'm on a new layer like so. I'm going to take that rectangular selection right here and I'm basically going to take that whole area like so and there we go then i'm going to go in i'm going to take a paintbrush i'm going to select a white color like so and i'm going to right click and increase the size of that paintbrush and i'm basically going to paint that label white all the way i could have filled that as well but this is fine okay and while I'm still in that selection, I'm going to change the color to black, take a text, and we're just going to type in spray paint. I'm going to go in and uh, select that guy. So here we go. Let's hit control T. I'm going to hold down shift and left click and drag it. Okay, so it doesn't really matter that much what type of spray paint we have. I'm just going to turn off that white for a sec here. Hit enter first. And there we go. So I can see where it's at. Okay, I'm going to take my move tool. I can uh, put this in. I can slightly rotate it like so if I like. So that will be basically our label. Okay, somewhat in the middle. There we go. All right, and hit enter. So we've turned this back on. We have a white label with a black text saying spray paint that will be on our can, all right? Okay, so what's next? Uh, yeah, go away. What's next? These two guys are supposed to be aluminum, all right? So I'm just gonna go up here to select, uh, let's see. I don't, yeah, deselect layers, okay. All right, so I'm gonna take a new layer. I'm going to take a new color. Let's do kind of gray-ish. And I'm basically going to paint over these two guys, the top and bottom of my can. All right. So I'm going to take a brush. And the cool thing here is I can basically just go over that. I don't have to worry about the edges and so forth. Anything outside of those edges will not be visible. Okay. And that's one of the reasons why I placed these UV shells further apart. So I can just basically paint over that. All right. Okay, cool. Now these three are more important because this is kind of determining what color we have for our can. All right. So what we're going to do there is I'm going to create another new layer and we're going to go in and let's say this is going to be our red paint can. Okay. I'm going to take red and I'm just going to go over this and make it completely red. And again, I don't have to be neat about it. There we go. All right. Now what I can do is go in, double click on it and call this red button. Okay. I'm going to add another layer and I'm going to turn off the red button layer. I'm going to take, let's say a blue color. There we go. And I'm basically going to repeat that and just go over that. All right. Like so. Okay. Now 
Once I do that, if I, for whatever reason, have a red spray can textured, and I exported this as a JPEG called, let's say, red can texture, and I get a question to do a blue can as well, I only have to open up this PSD file, turn off the red layer, turn on the blue layer, save it out as a JPEG, and I got a uh, texture for a blue can, okay? So basic, pretty straightforward, but nevertheless, let's have a go. So now that we have this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off that, um, that layer that we used for our um, snapshot. And I think that was the one, yeah, let's see, we're all good. That's our background, that's our text, that is our can, that's our red and blue, all right? So let's save it out as a blue first. So we're gonna go to save as, I'm gonna save it as a JPEG, I'll call this blue spray can, save it on my desktop and hit okay. And then I'm gonna turn off blue, turn on red, go in and save as, and we'll call this a JPEG red spray can. Okay, and here we go. Let's uh, jump into Maya and apply the texture, here we go. Okay guys, while we're back in Maya, I'm gonna select this guy and I'm gonna right click and assign new material. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign a blend so we can add some specularity to it, okay? Now, once I do that, I can go into my attribute editor and I can go into the color tab, hit that checkered box, and I'm gonna select file, folder, I'm gonna go into my desktop, and let's see, blue can, blue spray can, okay? And let's just hit open. We're gonna hit this uh, textured ball right there. And as you can see, spray paint with a blue cap on top, gray top, gray bottom, and white label, all right? Now let's say I quickly want to change that because I want a red label. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go in and swap that out with red, and there you go. And that's basically all there's to it, guys. So you can obviously add a lot more detail, um, but this is the principle of it, okay? So uh, hopefully this is helpful for you guys, and if you have any questions, let me know. See you guys next time, bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.